Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial guys, we are going through the grade 12 mathematics literacy paper 1 that was written in November 2021. In this video tutorial guys, we are going to be focusing on question 1.2 and question 1.2 guys focuses on interpreting data and we are also going to be doing a bit of conversation conversions right before we get started with the video tutorial guys please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a new video tutorial guys we are going through the whole past paper on this channel guys so please make sure that you do not miss a single video tutorial by clicking on that notification bell and also make sure that you click on that like button so that we help the channel grow and we help the channel reach more learners that want to better their mathematics marks okay guys so without any further ado let's get started with today's video tutorial <music> Question 1.2. The graph below indicates the energy sources used for cooking in different provinces, all right? Okay, so this graph basically shows the different kinds or the different sources of energy used for cooking, all right? We've got the percentage, right, of the energy sources used on your um, y-axis and we've got the different provinces on your x-axis right we also have the key used on your right hand side okay we see that electricity um, is represented by a shade of gray the gas is represented by a vertical line right the paraffin is represented by a darker shade of gray the wood is represented by diagonal wood uh, lines diagonal lines that are going towards the left and the other sources of energy are represented by diagonal line that is going towards the right okay so let's not be confused by that key guys use the above graph to answer the questions that follow question 1.2.1 identify the source of energy that is mostly used for cooking all right so what source of energy is mostly used for cooking in all of these provinces okay so what do we see the source of energy that is mostly used or the source of energy that has a greater percentage in all these provinces is what guys it's the gray um it's the gray shaded area right and that is the electricity right so the source of energy that is mostly used for cooking is electricity okay question 1.2.2 name the province that uses the most wood for cooking so we basically go to our graph and we basically look for the province that uses the most wood so the key for wood right it is basically the key that shows okay your diagonal lines that are going to the left so it's definitely not those ones guys please don't make a mistake those diagonal lines are going to the right okay so it's definitely those lines there those smaller diagonal lines those are the lines or the those that is basically the key that represents the wood okay so which province now from what we can see from this graph has or uses the most wood okay guys we can see here that limpopo uses the most wood okay because we can see that it has a greater percentage of wood used there okay so it's the greatest percentage of wood used so limpopo is the province that uses the most wood okay question 1.2.3 the price of paraffin fluctuates okay so this is an important word right fluctuates it goes up 
up and down. It varies, okay? It doesn't stay um, constant, right? So it fluctuates, okay? We are told that the price of paraffin fluctuates on the 3rd of February 2021. The price was 764.59 cents per litre, All right? So we are told on the 3rd of February 2021, the price was 764.59 cents per litre, All right? Let's go to question A. Write down in rands the cost of one litre of paraffin, okay? So guys, for this question, it's basically asking us to convert this, right, into how many, how much must you pay in rands to get one liter of paraffin, okay? So we've already have that the cost of paraffin is 764.59 cents, right? There's a reason why I'm writing it like this and you're going to see very soon cents per liter right so that is basically the cost of paraffin but we don't want the cost in cents we want it to be in rent so what do we need to do guys we need to basically um use conversions to find out how much will one liter of paraffin cost in rent okay so how do we start this guys how many um cents or one cents do we have in one rand okay how many just a quick way that can also help us we know that guys we need 10 10 cents right so we need one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten cents to make one rand okay so that basically means to get one rand you need 10 10 cents right so it's going to be 10 cents multiplied by 10 will give us one rand, okay? So 10 multiplied by 10, guys, we know that it's going to be 100 cents is equal to one rand, okay? So we're going to use this conversion to help us convert these cents into rands, okay? You need 100 cents to make one rand, okay? So that's basically the the units of conversions we're going to use okay so then what do we do we literally going to go back to that question that we had there 764.59 cents per liter what do we want we want the cost of the liter in rands so you multiply by what you want right you want the cost in rand so you multiply by what you want guys remember multiply by what you want and you divide it by what you have you have a hundred you already have the units in cents so that's why we're dividing it by the cents right so that is why i wrote it like that so that you guys can see that the cents and the cents cancel right and we now see that okay if you punch that into your calculator seven six four point five nine that's the same as saying over one guys right over one right multiplied by one over a hundred okay and our answer is 700 because you only left with the units in rands okay seven rand point point six four four five nine nine right so therefore guys we have basically answered our thingy right for one liter right for one liter you need seven rand and 64 or 65 cents okay this answer is telling us that you need 7.6459 um rands to get a liter right so that is basically our answer okay or you can even write it like that all right guys Cool stuff. This is our A and then your B. Determine to the nearest rand the cost of 12.5 liters of paraffin. Right? Guys, we already know that for we already said that in our answer. For one liter of paraffin, you have to pay 
7.6459 rands for one liter you need to pay 7.6459 because that's 7.6459 per liter that means that one liter is equal to 7.6459 rand okay so now they're asking us to determine to the nearest rand the cost of 12.5 um, liters of paraffin okay you want the cost what do you already have you've got 12.5 liters of paraffin but what do you want? You want the cost. So if you want the cost, you multiply by what you want. And it is the cost, which is 7 rand 0.6459. Right? You multiply by the cost and you divide it by what you already have, which is the units in liters. So 12.5 multiplied by 7.6459. Okay? Guys, you do agree that 12.5 over 1 is the same as 12.5 okay so the only reason i'm writing it like that is so that you see that the units cancel right and then you'll be left in units and rands this is a great way for you guys to check that you are actually converting things correctly please guys use this method to ensure that you do not make any mistakes okay so our answer is going to be 12.5 over 1 multiplied by 7.6459 divided by 1, which is 95.57. Okay, so answer is 95 point, okay, that's fine, 95.573. So it's going to be 95.573. That is our answer. But then they're telling us to determine to the nearest rand. Okay, the nearest rand. So we need to round it to the nearest rand. We mustn't have any sense here, right? So what does our answer mean? We're going to just look at the this value here. And that will tell us whether we're supposed to round up or keep our number the same, right? So it's a 5. That means that our answer is going to be 96 rand. Okay. Okay. Therefore, we see that... The cost of 12 point, therefore we see that the cost of 12.5 liters of paraffin to the nearest rand is 96 rand. Okay, guys. And lastly, question 1.2.4. Name another form of energy that could be used for cooking, which could fall under the other category. Okay. So we see that, okay, there's that um, other category used here, right? So what could be that other source of energy? So here, guys, it just requires you to think, okay, what could be another source of energy that is not included here, guys, right? What could be another source of energy that hasn't been included in, in this question, right? So yeah, guys, okay, you can go ham. You can either say it can be coal, right? Guys, it's just for, um, you just need to name one, okay? So if you say coal, the answer is gonna be correct, right? Others can say generators, because you can also use a generator as a source of um, energy, right? Other people can use solar, can think, okay, solar power that could be an also a correct answer solar power other people can think um wind turbines right that could also be another source of energy others could say hydropower right um so there's different um sources of energies that could also be used okay so guys that is basically our answers for question 1.2 and question 1.2 guys like i said we just really had to interpret the data that was given to us right and also had to do a bit of conversions guys you need to remember that when you're also dealing with conversions the way that i would advise you guys to do it is always write your values or your numbers in a form of like a fraction right so that you can see that okay what am i cancelling with what am i cancelling um have i written everything correctly and also remember what do you want what do you have 
when you're multiplying to get the answer that you want okay guys all right so guys that is our final answers for question 1.2 i hope you enjoyed the video tutorial and i'll see you on my next upload that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys. Oh, 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 oh,